Hey, I'm Amanda Vernon. Welcome to Word for the Week. My word for the week is you shall be radiant at what you see. Usually on the show, I share my experience of hearing God speak to me at Mass the previous weekend. I explore what that word has to do with my life, what God's calling me to do with that word. And I ask how that word might apply to your life as well. Um, So today I'm on tour. I'm out near Boston, Massachusetts. I'm just recording this on my phone. And I'm coming back from a lengthy Christmas break. I went with my family to, to Michigan. It's the first time that that David and I have been back to our hometown with all four of our children. And uh, it was just a, an awesome time to connect with our family and connect with our kids in a different in a different way than we typically do. Uh, so as I get back into the swing of releasing videos each week, I wanted to reflect back on the word that the Lord gave me during the Christmas season. It was actually on the Feast of Epiphany. So this word, you shall be radiant at what you see. And I'm going to keep it brief since I'm just on my phone and I hope this uploads well to YouTube. Uh, But I can say that during the Mass that we attended in Grand Rapids, my little godson, Jair, was there with his parents and his little sister. And it was just so awesome to see how reverent he was during Mass. Um, I can't wait for Sarah to follow in his footsteps someday. Uh... And he seems to be really drawn to the priesthood from a young age. So that was something that was really beautiful for me to experience during Mass. And then the word that stood out to me, you shall be radiant at what you see, really came to fruition as the four kids and David and I traveled back to Phoenix after that visit with our families. So we had the honor of bringing my sister Veronica back to Arizona with us, and she actually Uh, moved in with us and she is now our nanny and as we just sort of unpacked and and dealt with a little bit of jet lag and got her settled into her new room at our house I realized that so many of my dreams have come true and that not only have my dreams come true but recent prayers that I've just prayed to the Lord from the depths of my heart have come to fruition and um, one of those prayers is just for our the peacefulness of our family life like if God is still calling me to be out on the road to be not only singing but like speaking his word and sharing my experience of of God and of the church would he please give us some help because like David needs help with the kids and I we were just stretched to the max and to just to see how it would how much help and how much of a difference it made to have Veronica there was just like such an answer to prayer and and my heart was just rejoicing in 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 God's provision and so you know I'm thinking about like the the stories that we heard over the Christmas season at at the start of this new year of the shepherds you know hearing this proclamation from the angels about this baby who is born the messiah is coming and then they go to the stable and they see with their with their own two eyes they see so many of the stories um of our of our faith have to do with believing without seeing but but sometimes the lord allows us to look and see taste and see the goodness of the lord there's still faith involved of course but there are those moments where we can just see the prayers being answered so in closing today i'll i'll ask you like where where do you see God answering your prayers and I, and I feel like inspired to ask you just to like look at the prayers that you pray kind of on your own behalf or for your own character like maybe you're praying to be patient or you're praying to have more self-control or there's something in your life that you're you're asking God to please like help me to improve and then to to just look and say like Lord help me to see how you're answering my prayers maybe it's not the way that that we always think it's going to be, but I'm just encouraging you to to, to take a minute and, and ask the Holy Spirit to reveal to you how God is answering those prayers because uh, I believe he is answering and uh, it was really awesome for me to see the, the help that God is sending and, and I want to be able to also look inside my own heart and, and see with the eyes of faith how he's answering all the prayers that I am sending up to him. So this episode is made possible by my patrons. Uh, To learn more about becoming a patron, click the link below. You can um, share this video. You can like this video. You can comment on this video to help us reach even more people. 
So thank you so much for watching. Take care and God bless.